help inside. How much does it really help? Hello, to Paul Bamford from the Snooker Shed. I told you I wouldn't forget, tonight's video is all about help inside and does it really help? Let's get cracked on and have a look. So before we go on to help inside, let's look just briefly at side itself and what that means. So side is when you play the cue ball off the centre line. Now what does that do to the cue ball? Well it causes a thing called deflection and as you can see here, I've exaggerated this shot, but as you can see that the cue ball is thrown way over to the left hand side. So that's the first thing, deflection. Because we get that deflection, we now have to readjust our aim so that we allow for the cue ball to deflect over to strike where you need to hit the object ball to put it where you want. So let's look at this shot, shot one. And this one is aiming without considering the deflection. Watch how I play the ball and I'm going to aim to pot centre bag. So you'd be right in thinking that I was going to miss that shot. The reason I missed that shot is when I struck the cue ball at right two. The cue ball then deflected off to the left and striking the object ball thicker than intended, which pushed the object ball to the bottom cushion. So learning from shot one, here on shot two, what I've done is I've considered the deflection that I'm getting playing right two on the cue ball, adjusted my aim and put on the object ball. So after a quick wardrobe change, that's us looked at the very basics of how to play side spin shots. Now moving on, we're going to look at something called the squeeze. So let's look at my understanding of the squeeze. Where the word squeeze comes from, I have no idea. But maybe we could ask Tim, who's in Yorkshire at 250 miles away, Stefan in Bulgaria at 2,073 miles away, Yusama at 3,823 miles away, and Pakistan, and not forgetting Postiboy, just up the road in Aberdeen at 96 miles. But then, this man might give us the answer. He's the break from life. Down in England somewhere, but no idea where. If you know where it comes from, leave me a comment down below. Here's what I see the squeeze as. Cue ball's been struck. It follows the path into the object ball and the impact isn't instantaneous. So some of that energy and direction has passed on to the object ball. So the object ball will move slightly on the same direction that it was struck from before it then moves off on the angle that you've struck it from. And that, I believe, is what they call the squeeze. Now, how does that help us with the side? So side makes no difference for me to the squeeze. So I've done a few tests here in the snooker shed playing the object ball at the same place constantly. I've added left hand side and right hand side. The only difference I've seen was my adjustment to aim for the deflection of the side. The squeeze itself was so minimal that even in slow-mo we can't see it here at the snooker shed. Now further investigation with better cameras will have to show that there's a squeeze there. Physics I'm sure and you guys can help me out there and leave some comments. Physics say that the, that momentum has to go slightly with the way the contact came in from the cue ball. But for us in snooker, certainly for me, I've never thought about the squeeze at all while I'm aiming. And I think that's because if there is that tiny amount, your brain just accepts it's there, even doesn't know it's there, and just plays the shot where you've taught yourself the pot and angle. The video title is, Is Helping Side Helpful? And that's what we're going to examine right now. So let's have a look exactly what Helping Side is. Now to me, Helping Side would be adding side to the cue ball that assists you in putting the
the object ball or adding sight to the cue ball that assists you to a positional shot. Really, helping side, for my, in my opinion, doesn't help because what you've got to do is take in to consideration all the parameters that side needs when you're playing that shot. We'll go into this in further videos, but you have the speed of the cue ball, the weight of the cue ball, the table, the atmosphere, all these other parameters that you have to get involved in to play the shot correctly. So in my opinion, I don't think you need help inside. I'm going to demonstrate the next shot and play in two shots off the blue, one with side and one without side. What I'm going you to look at is the direction of the cue ball off this shot. So what I'm demonstrating in that shot, as you could see with the overlay, there's a slight difference in where I've been standing. You could see that the cue ball path didn't really change as it crossed the cloth. It went in the same way off the shot. So the side made no difference really until it impacted the bottom cushion. And then you could clearly see where the side makes a different angle coming off the cushion. So based on that last video, where we've struck the blue and the cue ball doesn't make a difference until it hits the cushion, you can see that playing side on this shot, which is something I used to do a lot all over the table, makes no difference. The side is unnecessary and therefore makes the pot much more difficult to play. So is help inside helpful? Well, in my opinion, no. It's actually the opposite for me. I think it makes your game worse. If you're using side that isn't necessary, you're playing shots that you're making so much more difficult we're using side, then it can't be classed as helpful. Looking at future videos, we'll look at the pros and cons of side. But going to the very good players out there, guys like the pros we see on the TV and some of the top amateurs, they'll be playing side constantly because they're good players and they've learned how to use side correctly. For players at my level, I would always suggest, or learning, I would always suggest learn centre ball striking and put on angles before we use side. That'll make you a much better player in the long run. Okay, so we're back at the snooker shed door and I'm just gonna say hello to Jewel Aubin, who's in Flagstaff, Arizona, coming in at 4,880 miles. He's been a recent subscriber, just like a lot of you guys out there that have come along to the channel and ladies to join us here at the snooker shed. We're almost at 1,500 subscribers, which is which is excellent, excellent to come along and enjoy the community. Remember, join us down in the Facebook page so we could all chat back and forward and show each other what life's like in the part of the world where you're from. If you want your name on the door, leave a comment with your name, where you come from, and I'll work out how many miles you are from the Snooker Shed location. Thanks for watching, guys and girls, and I'll see you wearing the merchandise.